Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Zip. Welcome back to episode 21 of the Custom Command Mod Pack. Hey, where's your webcam, Tyler? Don't worry about it. Now, like, my webcam broke or something. It, like, wasn't working. The big update's here, friends. The moment you've been waiting for. Oh, yeah. It's here. Mr. Xavier Hots in Dragon 014. He has updated the Custom Command Mod Pack. This is episode 21. With a bunch of new things, such as dark magic. A cobblestone device that is unnamed. Helping zombies. We can now tame zombies and they'll give us special effects. Better soups. A lot of things. In addition, we have fixed a good amount of those lag issues. So we don't got to worry too much about that stuff anymore here and there. Also, we nerfed the spider queen bone. It will give us a little burst of hunger every so often. So I'm going to head over here. Explain a little bit more about what has changed. Because it's not the only thing that's been nerfed. And uh, we're going to get into this episode. We're going to be exploring some of the new changes today. If you don't know what the Custom Command mod pack is, it's Minecraft 1.9 Survival. Fix the days I was on, by the way, as accurately as I could. That we have added a bunch of Command Block mods to. And I use the term mods. I don't even want to say lightly because they're basically the new mods now. To make this a thrilling experience. And uh, we're on episode 21. So, all of our great Dragonium armor... Is gone, unfortunately. It's been replaced with Dragonium. Now, the way the equipment works now is not only different, but there's more armors. There's like, I think there's like eight armors instead of the five that there was prior. And they all do different things. Mr. Xavier's been watching the series with us and updating things to, you know, reflect how I play the game. So, for example, the Purium armor doesn't allow you to fly anymore since we just use Elytras along with our Spider Queen bow. So now it does something different. We're going to be exploring what the armors do as well as our magic gold tools. Those have been changed as well in a different episode. In this episode, I want to explore the new content. Yes, the new updates. We're going to build a helping zombie platform, try and round up some zombies. And if we've got enough time, we're going to explore some dark magic as well. We're also going to be showing you the new soups that have replaced our regen cake because that wasn't working nearly as well. But the soups, they're going to do it right, baby. And, of course, some minor changes. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. However, we have not removed stuff like the food module yet because I do want to challenge. I don't want to just make food easier to get. I want to replace it with something. We got to think of a nice way to get that working for us properly. There's my steak. This is all the stuff I was wearing before. And there are, oh, goodness. A lot of loud sheep over there. Now, if we want to make the helping zombie platform, we're going to need a couple different blocks. We're going to need more prismarine. We did not grab nearly enough prismarine. So we're going to have to make a trip over to the Guardian Temple. We're also going to need end stone like the, the purr purr blocks. I don't know how many of those I grab. Let me see if I have them anywhere. Unfortunately, I do not have any purr purr blocks. We didn't keep any. So what I'm gonna go ahead and need to do is I'm gonna gear up as best I can. We're gonna uh, head over to the Guardian Temple. I'm gonna mine up some purr purr, or <laughs> some prismary blocks over there. And then we're gonna head back to the end city, grab some of those blocks, and then we can make a platform. So I'll see you in a second. Oh, and I know it looks weird, did you just did you see the difference? I just took off smooth lighting because unfortunately it's gonna make everything a little bit uglier, but it's gonna make my Minecraft lag a lot less, and we won't have to worry about the spider queen bone, you know, not working or something. So just letting you know. And we're off. Oh man, it's oh man. Well, I tried. <laughs> Let's try that again so it looks better. And we're off. Oh, it's so much fun. I never get tired of this. Although it is gonna cost us hunger. You'll see. We lose a little bit of hunger here and there now instead of us just being able to fly perpetually. And, uh, you know, because we, we don't want that, that to happen. So this Guardian Temple should be around here somewhere. There you are. Down we go. How about that? Isn't that something? So now let's go ahead and just mine away. Man, I should have brought some water breathing potions or something. I'll tell you what. This might be difficult. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This will be difficult. Hmm. Where was that temple just? I literally can't see... I don't see anything. <laughs> this is bad. Turns out I wasn't anywhere near it. And I saw a squid head and I thought it was I thought it was a sea lantern. But we're here now. Oh boy. Forgot that these guys are still hanging out. We're gonna need to mine inside. I think that's gonna be the most efficient way to do this. Don't, come on, I ain't come on, I ain't trying to get hit! Thank ya. And see we can just do this to get what I I my goodness. 
So that'll refresh us. I'm just gonna mine up a good amount of this, I guess. This is all we need is these blocks. The Prisbureed blocks. And, uh, come on. Easy, easy, easy. Let me... Ein! I gotta put that somewhere else for sure. For sure-sies. Hmm. And we should get... We should... We should get the sponge while we're here, you know. In fact, let's uh, let's make this more obvious as to what we've got on. My goodness, that is very, very sp oh, very spooky. It <laughs> really. Now you're gonna die. You asked for this. Ah, I'm gonna run out of health. Oh, I was close. Okay, let's use this to navigate or something or other, and then uh. Oh, I forgot I could poison him. Adorable. Running from me because he sucks. Oh, boy. Let's get some more water. Yeah, next time. All right, you know, I'm just going to mine this. And when I've mined enough, I'll be back. I'm not going to die. All right. And we're out of here. I'm trying to go the other way. <laughs> it's literally. Jeez. We got what we needed. We got about a stack. We got technically a little. Can I, can I go up, please? Are you going to let me go up? Let me surface. Surface. Ah. Oh! That was close. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. So we got the blocks we needed. Now I need to head back towards... Man. Really, really far this direction. We're headed towards basically like 100, 100. So when I get there, I'll update you. Actually, look at this. Look how fast the bone. Look how fast the bone drains now. Like, I, I, I actually lose hunger at a pretty decent rate. Look at that. So I'd say fair... It's fair balance. No one cares about boats. I ain't trying to use no boats. I think that's hilarious. So, uh, it just letting you know. All right. And now we're here at the nether. I mean, the end. <laughs> I don't know what is Minecraft even. And now I need to go and get some purple blocks. So now I need to find... Gosh, this looks crazy. Now I need to find me another structure. That might take a while, actually. And then all we got to do when we do that... I guess we could technically make the purple blocks out of... We could do that, actually. That, I think I might want to do that instead. We can just turn coarse fruit and cook it up into purple blocks. I, like, forgot about that. That's, that's nice. Because this will be, this will go a lot faster than, because look at that. I think that's, that's actually, that wasn't that much. <laughs> you get one block per four coarse fruit. So once I make those, oh yeah, see, we're rolling in it. And we don't even need that many. So I'm just going to collect these instead. I think that's going to be faster. Watch, I get hit by an Enderman. Oh, man. I'd be so upset. Lose my Ellie. This is so much fun. This is seriously. Ah, oh, I love it. It's so much fun. It truly is. Get out of my way. I ain't trying to stare at nobody, but I gotta look around and see what I missed. You know? Just gonna rob this island of all of its fruit. <laughs> Weird. Weird thing to say. Hmm. Grab all you. Okay, yeah. Anyways, hold on. Alright, so I got enough per per blocks. Or per per whatever's they are, chorus fruities, fruity pie patootie pies. <laughs> I'm hilarious. And now we need to head back home. We just need to go back home. So I've actually never shown you this, me do this part. It's a little difficult <laughs> and there's a chance I die, but it's a chance I take. Otherwise, so I could just technically fly right on through the dragon to the center. Okay, okay. Oh, I did it. Oh, I love when I do that. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> and then, you ready for this? Oh, see ya. Oh, so cute. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, we're home. <laughs> so I got to get these cooked up nice and lovely. Do I have any? I know I got some coal. Where's my? No coal? Okay, there's some coal. You got a little bit, you got a little bit of coal. Cook that up. And we'll cook that up. Oh, I love it. I love the, the sounds. Do you hear it? You can hear the things cooking now. It truly is like very, it like makes a huge difference, honestly. You wouldn't think it, but it does. So we're gonna let those cook up and then those will turn into popped chorus fruity pie, patootie pie, cutie pies. <laughs> and then we'll be able to make our structure. So I'm gonna let these cook. It really is nice. Actually, while those are cooking, I can show you the next spot. So we're gonna need some wool and we're also going to need some dyes. Now, I believe one is for blue dye. There's four different taming zombies, if you didn't know. There's the jumping zombies, the speed zombies, fire resist zombies, and plain old resistant zombies. Now, I don't know, they're not necessarily called that, 
that's just what I remember them at, you know? See, so what we need is if we want to get purple wool, we need resistance. Now to get purple wool, we just need, now what do I always do stuff with my dyes? I guess we can check to see if we have any wool already. Okay, so we don't have any, but that is quite all right because all we need to do really is just go and break a rose and we'll be good to go. We also need to cook up some cactus, get some nice green dye up in here. Mm hmm Let's screw you. I'll place in that. Got more of those. And we can just go quickly. Make some bone meal. Get ourselves some rose red dye. We also need bone meal for one of the other dyes as well. I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. So oh we didn't even need to do it. You see, it was perfect. There's plenty of flowers right in here. Just destroy the beautiful foliage around my house. Lower the property value of where I live. Can't sell it anymore. Have to deal with loud animals the rest of my days. That's okay. Let's go ahead and dye one of these. Hmm. Hey, shippies. Hey, get out. Let me in. <laughs> Let's dye you. And now we can shear you. Perfect. So we got one wool. We need to now, this is so loud and I'm very uncomfortable. Purple dye. We need some purple. Right, do we need purple? We do need purple. Purple will give us, that guy's gonna be purple. And now we gotta shear him. So that for resistance, blue is for, I mean, blue is for fire resistance. Now we need cyan and light blue. So I need more lapis. Oh no, I'm not trying to shear you. Just get out of my way. Much better. <laughs> that was very loud and unpleasant, and I think I stepped in something I didn't want to. Let's grab this now. Thank you very much. Grab a couple more pieces. Oh, lapis. And I think this will make cyan. It does. Cool. And then we just need light blue, which is blue and solid. Sweet. That was very simple. It doesn't usually work that way. Usually there's more steps. All right, get out of my way. Huh. So let's die. Did I not? Oh, I, I, I may as well shear him again. But yeah. All right. Let's turn you into a light blue. And we'll shear you up real nice and neat. And then let's turn you into a cyan. And we'll shear you up real nice and neat. So now I have all the different wolves we need. I can get the heck out of here. Get out of my way. Much better. And we can build the structure already. So where do we want to build? I want to build it kind of in an area that is devoid of light because in order for this to work, we need the zombies to spawn, first of all, and we need them to be able to you know, walk over to where we are. So there's not really any torches over here. I think this will be a prime spot to build them. Once we do that, we just have to, I'm getting pretty good with the Ellie and the spider queen. I'm just saying, did you see that? Oh, dang it, I forgot to grab the blocks. <laughs> What I'm not good at is remembering that I still need stuff. So we'll turn these into the blocks that we need. Perfect, just like that. Now, the, the, the recipe is simple enough. It's just four cornered prismarine along with four D-pad purper blocks. Are you trying, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe. And then the dye, the wool of choice right in the middle there. So let's set them up right here. Diane trying to get the bones going crazy. Now. Yeah, 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 sheep. I've had quite enough of you. Place you there, you there, and then we can do that, and that, and that. We'll grab the purple dye, we'll grab the blue wool, I mean, wools. We're working with wools. And then the cyan. Excellent. So, let's just keep them near each other for now. The way these babies work is you set up a little bit of a structure, and we're going to show you how to make the structure right now. Let's start with this wool dye. Blue wool's going to be fire resistance. Basically, what happens is the zombie steps over the specific wool color and then when it recognizes that it's around the rest of this structure that we have literally, oops, worst guy, place, place, place. That's it. That's one of the structures completed. When a zombie walks over the blue wool, he will give you, it, he'll be renamed and he'll turn into a helpful zombie. The zombie will follow you around, won't do any damage to you, and it will give you a special effect when it's near to you. We're going to explore that before this episode ends. But I wanted to build the rest of these structures first as well. So let's just build three more. We'll build one. Yeah, let's build one right here. So again, corners, corner pieces for our dear Prismarine friends on the sides. 
We've got the purple. Now, purple, speaking of, will give you resistance. Blue is fire resistance. You won't take fire damage. Purple is resistance. You just take a little less distance. I mean, damage <laughs> overall. Now we gotta make two more. We're gonna do the light blue one. Now the light blue one gives you a speed two boost. So if you happen to have a zombie walk over this guy, he'll give you a speed boost whenever you happen to be near him. All right, that guy's set up. And then finally, we gotta get this cyan going, baby. You know, you know you gotta get that cyan. Uh, okay, that's there, that there, that there, that there. Color, 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 color. So they're all four set up. Let's get let's get a decent. I'm thinking let's get let's get, let's, get, let's get a decent view, man. Yeah. So what are we working with here? Those are our four different setup areas. Now we just need to wait for some zombies to, I guess, really to spawn. That's kind of what we need to do here. I love this. I seriously love that so much. Look how high up in the area. Just so let me get some bread out so I'm not losing all my hunger. This that and this. All right. Ooh, that lag. The lag is coming in. We're going to have to do some more adjustments. I might I might just disable the food command. might disable a couple other commands because this is just getting ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to wait for zombies to spawn. See, they should be able to spawn over there. And uh, we're going to try and get some to land on top. They have to be spawned in by now. Come on now. I know they are. Zombies. Zombies. Come on. Ooh, I see one. Oh, and also we removed gophers because they were really buggy. And that is not a zombie. That is a crepe. There's a zombie. Okay. Let's bring him over. Hey, friend. So. Oh, we got to get rid of this sucker, too. Oh, boy. He's one of those. He's a real strong guy, isn't he? Hey, I get it. You're the one that hurt me. the zombie <laughs> come on over man i need you are there more oh i see it i see a crazy guy over there all right so he's a little far but it's all gonna be worth it i wish i could just make him come a little bit faster come on man oh i see a witch and i see a monkey now i wonder what happens if we get a monkey to walk over it would it make for a helpful monkey perhaps don't know now what do we want let's do Let's do resistance. Oh, the monkey! I kind of don't want to find out if it works right now. I just want to deal with that. So walk on over this. See, and now he helps me. So now he won't hurt me. And whenever I'm right next to him, see, the resistance will go away if you're too far. Watch, we'll go real far away. Resistance disappears. You get close enough though, you get your resistance back. Talk about useful. New friends, great, awesome. That's sick. There's another one. Let's try and get all four. Man, I'm going to be buffed like no other. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. He sees me. I know he sees me. Now, what's this guy doing? He's hanging out. Come on, zombie. I'm getting hungry. I'm really. Look, he loves me. He really loves me. <laughs> Come on. Now, can other zombies hurt me? Oh, he's a mad guy, too. Dude, let's get a bunch of babies. What if all the... Dude, I kind of want to see if a bunch of babies will spawn. Oh, dude. All right, I want him to spawn in a bunch of little babies. Oh, he did! He's, I mean, he spawned in that guy. Are you, are you going to turn to one? He does too! Oh! Oh, this is beautiful! I want you to spawn in one more. Oh, he did! Hey! Now we got a fire helper. And and and, and small death, apparently. You, you go over this guy. Oh! Okay, so that guy, he's already named, so he doesn't do anything, actually. I don't want to like hurt the others. Oh boy Get in here. Oh, wait, I had fire resistance. I forgot I didn't do anything. Oh, and he's holding seeds. What a great friend All right, let's get this last guy. What do we want? Um, do we want jump boost? I don't necessarily need jump boost. I have two fire helpers we'll Get him jump boost. I think that'll be useful to have. Oh boy. All right, let's get the monkey on here, too Why not? Why? Okay, so the monkey don't work. If they're named already, looks like they don't work. But like, oh, I don't want to hurt Fire Helper. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, ho, ho. man, we got a lot of helpers, and we got a creeper. He's real near. And is that? He's just a mean one. This guy's just a mean one. Come, small death. And monkey. Oh, oh my gosh! 
Yo, I'm getting worked on, to be honest, right now. Thank you. My goodness. And you want some too, huh? Holy wow. We've got a monkey that grew up. I've been- I've- zombie infection? Now I'm cursed too? Oh, this is not ending well at all. Let's turn the rest of these zombies into things so that they leave me alone. <laughs> That's all I need at this point. No, he don't need to be a fire helper. Oh, now you're a speed helper. Actually, speed helper would be good. Ooh. Hey, come on over here. Come on over here. Do you? Hey, he helped me too. Hey, this is great. Man, we've got like a troop of friends and I'm still like losing constant Wait, that guy don't like me. All right, you know what? <laughs> so these guys won't actually die. They'll stay this way We need to get some glowstone so that we can cure this curse. Thank goodness. I still have the altar and He's just this guy just hates me right <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm over it. Let's just leave. They'll they'll figure out their way. I uh, I assume. Speed helper. We've got a resistance helper. We've got a fire helper. All we really need is a jump helper, and and I'm just gonna kill him. By the there, there. Hey, hey! Run! This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> I need to make some better soups. Oh, that's the other thing. So better soups. Super useful. Mushroom stew now gives you 10 seconds of regen. Are they gonna like try and come in and kill me actually? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, so we need to heal ASAP. Honestly, that was a little much. So, mushroom stews will give you 10 seconds of regen as well as 30 seconds of luck. Ooh. Beetroot soup, a new soup from 1.9 gives absorption for 15 seconds and rabbit stew gives health boost too for 20 seconds. Very useful. Now, I'm not sure why I still have... Is it because... I need to cure an altar with holy water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that entails. Like, what do I have to do? Now, the unfortunate thing about our zombie helpers is the sad truth... Do these guys... These guys will die in the sunlight, pretty much. My goodness! I don't want you to die, Speed Helper. Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, they're just kicking it over there. Awesome. Okay, well, I need to look up how to cure this altar, so... Let's... Uh, 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 we'll see you next time for episode 23 of the Custom Command Mod Pack. We're going to be checking out magic spells in the next episode. So look forward to that. If you enjoyed, please do drop a like. Rating on the video would be much appreciated, friends. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's always a pleasure having new followers on the channel. Me and Speed Helper, we're going to check out the Love Shack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.